Is this heaven? Nope, it's Philadelphia. This game is tied in a long way. It is gone. They're dancing around the base paths. That was and right off to left center field. That's going to win the ball game. It is gone. Just over the flower bed. The prayers have been answered. Did he do it? Did he do it? He did it. The throw to the plate is not in time. Oh, strike three on the outside corner. That's unhittable. Swing and a miss. He got him. Titanic shot into the second deck. Dives, gloves it, hops up, throws to first. He got him again. Wow. Has he yes. got it again? Has yes. he done it again? He did it. And it's six. Swing and a drive, left field, it's deep, it's good, yes. and it is good! Yes. yes, it is Bedlam at the bank! Near the end of the 2021 season, the Phillies were poised to win their first postseason berth in a decade. We just want to tell you guys thank you. We got uh, today and six more, six more big ones. So hopefully we're back here October 11th um, with you guys waving our, your flags and your towels. And uh, we bring back October baseball. So we got a big week ahead and uh, thank you so much. As the final road trip began, they were just two and a half games behind the Braves for the lead in the National League East. In the past three seasons, the Phillies have played meaningful baseball in September, but haven't gotten to the finish line. The Phillies have been eliminated from the postseason race for yet another year. And while the fans suffered through another difficult autumn, one man painted a very optimistic view of the future. Price Harper's worth the price of admission. I mean, he's worth, he's a star. We got other stars. We've got we have the all-star starting catcher. I mean, Segura's one of the best second basemen in the game of baseball. Hoskins was among the league leaders in home runs when he went down. There weren't a lot of clubs that wanted to come in and face us with Wheeler and Nola and Suarez pitching. I don't know why we can't try to compete for a championship next year with those pieces. This is Kyle Schwarber. As a Philly opponent for the last several years, I agreed with Dave Dabrowski's assessment of the team. With a great home atmosphere and a hungry group of really good players, the Phillies were not a fun team to play. So, in my free agent year, it was a pretty easy decision as where I wanted to play. I'm excited to, to help bring a World Series back to uh, Philly, looking at the ball club. It's just uh, it's an exciting group of players and an exciting group of men. You try to do three things every day, and that's try to help the team win on the field, uh, in defense, and in the clubhouse. I knew right away I had made the right choice. It was a well-organized camp with an easy vibe, a great blend of veterans and young guys, and a really good staff of professional, hardcore coaches. A few days later, they added another big gun to the arsenal. But we're just absolutely thrilled to have uh, Nick Castellanos on board with us. Um, I've known Nick, of course, for a long time. He's one of the premier hitters in Major League Baseball. Absolutely thrilled that he's on board and looking forward to him hitting in the middle of our lineup or wherever our manager so chooses to have him hit. So, middle uh, so. Okay. <laughs> Well, first off, the organization's committed to winning. The opportunity to, to be here, to play with these guys, you know, I'm excited to be teammates with Bryce again. We won a gold medal together in Venezuela in 2009. Just a lot of things for me to be excited about. This ownership is committed to winning. The Phillies were celebrating their 75th anniversary of training in Clearwater. I can see why. Great town, great facilities. That ball aye, aye, aye. crushed. Wow, that is way out of here. That's one of the longest home runs you'll see here in Baycare Ballpark. A solo shot right out of the gate for Schwarber. It, it, we got excited about a lot of different things with the Phillies. Like they said the other day, you know, when they signed Arietta, we got excited. Then they signed Bryce about a couple years later, a year or two later, and we got excited. But this is just different. And look, they're going to go through struggles where they don't score a bunch of runs. But then, you know, they might go a couple games, but then they might get the next game and score 15, and then score 10, and then score 12, and then score 15 again. I mean, this has the capabilities of being something that the Phillies fans should want to see every single day. Now, it was time to head north and start a great adventure. There's nothing like opening day 
especially in a new city. Phillies opening day, squirt car! The baseball gods blessed us with a beautiful spring day, and the place was packed. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2022 Philadelphia Philly! It's important to make a good first impression. And a high fly ball to right field. Piscotti's going back, and it is gone! What a way to start for Kyle Schwarber! That was fun. How big do you think this is for him, knowing that he's going to be here for a while? Oh, uh, it's big, John. And a line drive makes it out to left center field. That'll bring off a run. And an opposite way. Looper is going to drop in for Mason. Rebuto scores. Here comes Harper. Castellanos with his first in the Phil's uniform. Harper steaming around third, heading for home. He'll score. There you go, a little looper to left field. It's the first RBI in Bryson Stott's career. And the 0-2 pitch. Play and a miss. He got him. And what a way to start 2022 for the Phil's. Might as well keep it going. And he hits one in the air, left center field. That's deep. It is gone. Two. It's contagious. Going back on it is Pinder, and it is gone! And a high fly ball to left field. Get it, gone! Back-to-back -back home runs! Play and a miss, he got him. Double digits and strikeouts in his first start of 2022. Back toward the middle. Oh, caught out of the air, not back toward Triple. the middle. They get a double play. We were off to a great start. The highlight of the weekend came when Bryce was presented on the field with this 2021 MVP award. I would like to thank John Middleton uh, for bringing me to Philly, giving me the opportunity to put this amazing uniform on. You guys, the fans, you guys make me feel at home every single day. You guys letting us know when we suck and when we're really good. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys so much. Let's have a great year and uh, let's go have a party on Broad Street. Sounds like a plan to me. It was only four games into the season, and Alec Bohm had a night to remember, or maybe just forget. Back toward the middle, off the glove of Suarez, picked up by Bohm, flips it past Reese Hoskins. The 33 pitches he threw in the first inning is a career high for any inning. Bohm sells that throw over the head of Reese Hoskins. Be his second error of the game. For the third, Bohm. Oh, man. That's three errors in three innings for Alec Bohm. As Bryce just alluded to, the Philly fans will let you know it. In the heat of the moment, cameras caught Alec mouthing his displeasure to a teammate. Within minutes, it was all over social media. But we still had a game to play. A new hero every night. Swung on through right gap. center field. It's going to get down for a base hit in the gap. And it's going to give the Phillies the lead. Down 4 nothing at the start of the inning. The Phillies come all the way back and they have the lead. It's 5-4. to four. And the pitch. So they're going to miss. He got him. Yep. Things are a little different in Philadelphia this year. Back in the clubhouse, Alec was told about the internet comments. He knew he was in the middle of a firestorm. Look, emotions got the best of me, you know, I said it. And do I mean it? No. And it's a frustrating night for me, obviously, you know, I made a few mistakes in the field. And look, these people, these fans, they just want to win. And I mean, you heard it, we come back, they're great. And, you know, I guess I'm just, I'm sorry for them. You know, I, I don't mean that. And. Motion just got the best of me. So you actually love this player? <laughs> yeah. You know what? I do. Yeah. There have been a lot of young players hurt their careers by going at it with the fans. He handled it perfectly. The next night, he came to the plate as a pinch hitter and got his reward. We'll hear the reaction for Alec Baum. A lot of folks rising up out of their seats. It's a pretty amazing city. Yeah, and all those knuckleheads on TV talk about the Philly fan, how they're going to boo him and whatever. Yeah, get a load of this.
Going into the 2022 season, a couple of big rule changes were made that really impacted the Phillies. One was the addition of a third wild card in each league, and the other was bringing the DH to the National League. In early April, Bryce started to experience pain in his throwing elbow. Fortunately, it didn't affect his swing, Center field. Going back. which was still an MVP for him. Oh, well, it's gone! An opposite field home run for Bryce Harper. In the early part of our season, we were still trying to find ourselves as a team. He's Renfro at the track. He makes the play. And that ends the game. We would get hot. Next swing, did he go? Yes, he did! And the Phillies have completed a four-game sweep over the Colorado Rockies. Then not. Swing and a miss. They have combined to throw a no-hitter. On May 5th, we suffered the worst loss of the season. Oh, well. We were beating the Mets 7-1 in the ninth, then lost the game. Ball out towards center field. That's going to drop for a hit. And the Mets have tied the game up at 7 and a high fly ball out toward left center field. Nimmo is scoring all the way from first, and the Mets have taken the lead. The 0-2, swing and a miss. The ball game is over. As stunning a loss by the Philadelphia Phillies that we have seen. Believe me, that drives us nuts, more too. more than a decade. I mean, just stunning. Right after that, we went out to the West Coast to face Seattle and the Dodgers. It was a big a test. Ball well hit, left center field on the run. Rodriguez going back towards the track, pulls up the wall. It's gone! His 101st career home run as he's homered in back-to-back -back ball games. And a light drive out toward left field, toward the corner, toward the pole. It is gone! A bullet grand slam for Reese Hoskins. Makes the catch. The ball game is over as they take two of three. In our second game in L.A., we got involved in a slugfest. The Phillies have just tied this game up. That's out in Max Stairs territory. Hooking, it is gone! Justin Turner has just tied the game up at nine. Harper is steaming home. It's a two-run double for Castellanos, and the Phillies are on top again. The next night, bombs away. Third ball hit in the air, left field. It is gone! A three-run home run for Segura. Another home run. It is gone! Is this Chavez Ravine or LAX? I can't tell. That trip showed us we were the team that we thought we could be. We were 5-2 and two and scored 50 runs. Then we came home, and the offense lost the screw. And that's the ball game as the Phillies get shut out today by the San Diego Padres. It goes. Pitch is swung on and missed. They're double. He's going to try to get to first. He cannot. I mean, this is frustrating. Um, you know, we go out and have a really good road trip, and you try to build on your road trip, and you come home, and you, you lose some games where you don't score any runs, and it's really frustrating. Okay. It's widely accepted that JT is probably the BCIB, the best catcher in baseball. He hits, he throws, and he steals bases, and pretty much wants to play every day. So imagine being his backup. Garrett Stubbs did a great job behind the plate, and when he got his chance, he made the most of it. Fly ball to deep right center field, way back there, it is gone! Garrett Stubbs has gone yard for the first time in his career. Maybe that'll breathe a little life into our offense right there. That day, Zach Eflin was on point. That time he got him. Nine strikeouts for Eflin. Okay, down by a run with two outs in the 10. Ground ball over the mounds. Waiting oh, for it is oh, oh, He booted oh. it. One run is in. Here That's comes Quinn the throw. Save! He scored from second on the booted play in second base. Back out on the road. Things continue not to go our way. It's going to be deep enough to score Swanson. And Roman Quinn misjudged it. He and Castellanos had a miscommunication. Acuna was slow. Line drive out to center field. It's going to drop in for a hit. Acuna's heading home. The throw by Roman Quinn. And the Braves have won it. Four sliders, two four seamers. Heading home. Fastball. Swing at a fountain. And the ball game is over. The Mets have taken game one of this three-game series. Escobar, that's going to get down. That's going to win for the Mets. Eduardo Escobar with the catch and now the key hit. Swing and a miss. Moniak 
Mike is tagged out and the ball game is... There's a lot of fight in that room every day. We've been through a grueling two and a half weeks and we've been through some really tough losses. They'll respond. They just got to continue to do their work, continue to grind this out. It's going to turn. By May 31st, we are eight games under 500 and 12 and a half games behind the bets. Unfortunately, someone had to take the fall. Why now? I know you've been asked that today, but why now at this point in the season? First of all, I still think it's early enough in the year where we can come back and we have a chance to make the postseason. Now, no, the division is way off, but even if he can win a wild card spot, anything can take place. And I think that, real, from my perspective, a different voice was needed in the clubhouse at this time. Just somebody that can give it maybe a different a message in a different way. And I think that Rob Thompson was the right guy to give that type of message. Whenever a manager gets fired, everyone in the clubhouse feels some responsibility. It was on us, the right to ship. What followed was one of the most incredible runs in the last decade. And the first pitch is smoked deep to center field. Trout's going back. It is gone! Off the back wall on the first pitch. And a high fly ball to deep right field. Ward is going back toward the scoreboard. Gone! First major league home run for Bryson Stott. Pretty deep, Marsh going back right toward the wall, it is gone! Swing and a miss, Otani's down on strikes. Second time Eflin's got them tonight. Center field again, going back out of his trap. Back to the wall, forget about it, it's gone! Off the wall again! Ball ball. There's a fly ball left field, that's deep, Marsh is going back, no chance, it's gone! He's gone oppo twice! It's finally home run derby time. The next night, we dropped five runs on them in the first. And Zach Wheeler never looked back. Another fastball, and he got him. A 3-2 pitch. He's down on a fastball. Woo! For the series finale, we found ourselves down 6-2 in the eighth. Now Bryce Harper and Bryson Stott both hail from Las Vegas. The two of them have been friends a long time. It's got to be a blast for them to be teammates. And speaking of blasts... Yeah, baby! Fly ball to deep right field! This game is tied in a long way! Into the second deck, Bryce Harper! He's just lifted the lid off the yard! In the ninth, the Angels regain the lead. Over to first and off the glove of Reese into right field, and the run will score. So the Angels take the lead here in the ninth inning. Now with two outs six. and two strikes. We needed all the prayers we could get. 3-2 is hit in the air, right field. It's get out beautifully. It is over! Three-run home run for Bryce. It's stuck. The prayers have been answered. The Phillies have won it here in the bottom of the ninth inning. They win it 9-7. to seven. The Vegas connection has tied it and won it. Pretty good start to the Rob Thompson era. From there, it was on the Milwaukee. Now, Josh Hader is one of the best relievers in the game. He hadn't allowed a run since July of 2021. 1-1 is hit high in the air to deep left center field. How about this? The streak is over. Alec Baum has just tied this game up here at the top of the ninth inning. Then, Matt Vierling stepped up. And a high fly ball. The next thing you know, Phillies finish off a sweep. They've won seven straight. And Didi is our Chevrolet player of the game. Three for five, a single, double, triple, and an RBI. Back home, our little buddy who sent his prayers for Stott's walk-off got a chance to meet his hero. Pretty cool. Then, Reese gave him something more to cheer about. Deep left field. That's some insurance for the Bills. Yes, this past week was, uh, uh, I really liked it. After watching it, I'm, I'm just glad I, I didn't disappoint them. So. They remain perfect in the month of June. One pitch. 
It's sharply to second. Matt Beerling is up with it. Throws to first, and the ball game is over. The Phillies have won nine consecutive games for the first time since 2011. This was getting to be fun. That was high right down to left center field. That's going to win the ball game. Beerling's going to cruise on home. RBI single for Reese Hoskins. Two days later. And a high fly ball. There's nothing more fun than riding a hot streak. Ground ball over to third base, fair ball. Ball's got it, throws on the run. Reese hangs out of the bag and the ball game is over. And this run through June continues. That's five series the Phillies have now won in a row for the first time since 2011. There's nothing better than being a professional baseball player. One of the best things about it is that we also get a platform to give back to the community. The Phillies have always put a priority on giving back, whether it's an individual cause or a team-sponsored event. I mean, I might put one over that. <laughs> Three, sometimes sitting here when it's really sunny in the day games, right here, and then where Wheeler stands 98% of the time right by the stairs. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Drop it in. You see, I feel better and it look different. So Take care, okay? Don't give up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to be on No, yeah. All right, perfect. Let's do it. We want this ball to hit us right in the chest. Don't try to catch it. There you go. That's a block right there. That's something that takes a lot of practice. It's hard. Nice job. We're both volunteer firefighters. Well, my mom's a nurse as well. No way. That's a cool story, man. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> well, I would have probably been in your shoes if baseball didn't work out. But no, man, I appreciate what you guys do, man. Thank you very much for what you guys do. And whenever a teammate has an event, we always try to be there. Um, everybody's really all in on it, and it's it's really cool. And at the end of the day, we're, we're going to try and raise as much money as we can for both these organizations and, and really just try and help the community out in any, any way we can. I'm really fortunate to have the teammates I have. You know, they, uh, they care about helping people. Uh, they care about supporting initiatives that their teammates are with, and, and uh, it's a pretty special group. You know, the last couple of years have been tough on everybody, including all these nonprofits and organizations that are trying to fundraise and raise awareness for, for certain organizations. Great to fundraise, but more importantly, it's just great to, to raise awareness, get everybody talking about it so that we can improve the care and improve the medicine yeah. as much as we can. I love the things they do here. Okay. We were on a roll, back over 500, in the middle of the wild card hunt. Things were looking up, right? Oh, oh man. man. Oh, boy. Paul Bukait is out. He came out almost immediately, and Harper is in a lot of pain. So we lose our MVP for at least two months. Gene Segura had already gone down with a fractured finger. Then Zach Eflin went down with knee problems. Time to panic, right? Not us. Swing and a fly ball to deep right field. Derek Hall's first hit in the big leagues is a home run. But he is all smiles. When Bryce went down, we caught up Derek Hall from AAA. He was a gentle giant, a left-handed power hitter who made a name for himself in AAA. That ball is smokes. It's gone. It's a two-home run game for Derek Hall. Is this heaven? <laughs> nope, it's Philadelphia. Pretty good start to his big league career. Derek was just another example of some of the young guys in the organization who were contributing in a big way. They nicknamed themselves the Phillies Daycare. Alec Bohm was turning into a pretty dang good big league hitter. And a high fly ball out toward left field. Going back is Donovan to the wall. It is gone! A multi-home run game for Alec Bohm. And Bryce and Stott went from a question mark to an everyday starter. Back toward the middle, Stott in shallow center field, throws him out! Oh man, he looked like Jimmy Rollins pirouetting like that. The kid can pick it. Watch this, off a lefty. Pitch is lined out toward right field, it's deep! Acuna's going back, it's gone! Matt Veerling showed some good power and an excellent outfield club. Coming on as Veerling makes the diving grab. 
excellent defensive play by Matt Fearling. And Nick Maton always seemed to do something clutch. Maton rips it. That's a fair ball. Bills are going to win the game. A line drive base hit for Maton into right. On the mound, Bailey Falter filled in the rotation and got stronger and stronger as the season went on. The young guys seemed to respond well to the skipper's easygoing presence. Rob Thompson is a baseball lifer, a guy who has seen it all and nothing ever rattles him. That calmness and confidence rubs off on us. The chemistry in that clubhouse is as good as it gets. Hold on the ground over the third base back down the left field line. Bulb is going to cruise on home. In early July, we reached a wild card spot. We just had to play within ourselves and keep winning. The bouncer over to third. This should do it. Ball races to the third base bag, and the Phillies have swept out the Marlins. Our starting pitching was solid. 24 straight innings for the Phillies pitchers. Scoreless innings against St. Louis. Then out of nowhere, we would have one of those hiccups. And the Cubs have swept Philadelphia out of the All-Star break. But by the end of the month, we got back on track. And a call, strike three, right at the knees. Eight Ks for Aaron Nola. A spectacular double play to wrap up a spectacular weekend in Pittsburgh for the Philadelphia Phillies. At the trade deadline, Dave Dombrowski went out and strengthened the ball club. He got Noah Syndergaard to fortify the rotation and reliable David Robertson for the bullpen. Versatile infielder Edmundo Sosa was acquired from the Cardinals. In a key trade, he got a young Brandon Marsh from the Angels, a gold glove caliber center fielder who looks to be a part of the future. Go back into his right, goes Marsh, it's well hit to the track, Marsh jumps, makes the catch. To make room, veterans Doris Familia, Odubo Herrera, and Didi Gregorius were released. This meant that Bryson Stott had been given the starting shortstop job. You usually don't release a quality, battle-tested player like Didi in the middle of a playoff race. But management thought enough for Bryce to stop to give him the full-time job at short. Grab ball back toward the middle, stop diving play, gets to his feet, has time, throws him out. On August 4th, Bryce took a break from his rehab and joined the boys in the TV booth. Philadelphia tonight, uh, he is treating us with his presence <laughs> up here in the booth. We finally have hair in the booth, John. We finally have hair in the booth. <laughs> well, and, and the suit. Come on, man. Yeah. I, was, I, I respect good. the booth, guys. Yeah, I, I, I respect, respect the booth. It, you know? Yeah, someday we'll start. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is great having you up here. Yes, and, uh, I've never been up here, so this, this is a lot, of, a lot of fun for me, especially for the next few guys. And hold your judgment until the game's over. You <laughs> That's might true. Your mind. I mean, I've been sitting at home listening to you a little bit, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning a thing or two. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> He's playing so well right now. It's so much fun to watch. I think his season turned around when he came up to pinch hit and they gave him a standing ovation after the little faux pas thing. Absolutely. I mean, I think these fans want, want to hold you accountable and you hold yourself accountable yep. for what you do. And he was able to do that and squash it right then and there. And, and look at him. I mean, he's having a great year. He reminds me so much of J-Dub. Just, the, just yeah. his body. Yeah. And he's young right now. So he's still young. He's still groaning into his body. But the thing about Jay, is Jay could get the base knocks to right, and he'd pull a ball to left center over that Toyota sign. Fly ball, left field, miss, back toward the wall. It is gone! I, I see that swing in him so much, so controlled. I love Kevin Long's reaction when you guys do something good. He cares so much about his players. Hitting coaches have one of the hardest jobs in baseball, because it's always their fault, right? And you're all different. Absolutely. Every player in the league has a different stance or a different mindset. You're working through egos. You're working through all these different things. And he does such a good job of working through those and understanding guys and, and just getting guys better. So what you're saying is if you're a young kid aspiring to be a hitting coach, don't. <laughs> and you sign up to, to win World Series and, and bring that to the city that you play in. That's the number one dream and goal. Pretty good stuff. Alumni weekend. Always a fun time around here. On Friday night, we celebrated the 50th season of the great Dan Baker, the Phillies PA announcer. Dan was the PA announcer for every one of my ball games at Veterans Stadium. He puts effort into it. You know, he's passionate about the way he says everybody's name. The consistency and, and the passion 
every single night, year after year, is amazing. There are only a few public address announcers who are such household names, and Dan Baker fits into that category as a Hall of Fame public address announcer. I'm so happy to be here. Why not? I'm a Phillies fan! Dan's voice has been loved and imitated by many generations of fans. And if you look over at that Phillies dugout, you'll see another talented group that's going to return us to postseason play soon. I've been practicing introducing someone who's going to make that trip a little bit quicker. Now batting for the Phillies, number three, designated hitter, Bryce Harper. Thank you, Phillies. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. He's always been a class act. That weekend, we are also honoring the 1980 championship team. Let's meet the starting lineup for game six of the 1980 World Series. Reliever Ron Reed and outfielder Bake McBride were enshrined on the Wall of Fame. It just goes to show that if you're a champion in this town, you're never forgotten. With all these legends in town, we thought we'd put on a little power display. Blast! Way back! Left field and forget about it! Back to back! Castellanos and Derek Hall. Real Muto gets in on the Homer Happy Philly party. Towering home run. It's the longest one of the series for Reese Hoskins. A three-run home run for Matt Nearly. Opposite field home run, Derek Hall. But he smashes that one out of the yard. It's his second home run of the day. I wanted to give my tribute to the small ball. Schwarber bucks one up the third base line, and that's going to be a single. They were giving it to him. I love those powder blues. Nobody on the team is a bigger student of Phillies history than Reese Hoskins. He was loving it. Towering no. shot to left center field. Forget about that one. He's homered in four straight games. Bouncer back to the bow. This should do it. David Robertson, underhand, flip the ball game is over. The Phillies have just swept out the Washington Nationals. It's their second four-game sweep in a week. As we entered the dog days, our focus was set on the postseason. The Mets and Braves were both on their way towards 101 seasons. Our sights were set on the wild card. Swing and a miss, he got him. Strikeout number 200 on the year for Aaron Ola. At the beginning of the season, people questioned whether our young players were ready. By mid-August, the answer was a resounding yes. And a line drive, base hit to left center field. Stops around second, headed to third, and he's gonna get there, a two-run triple. Bolm has it on the bag for one. Across the diamond for two. That is as solid a play as the third baseman will make. They also questioned our defense. Reaches out and makes the running grab. Through hard work by the players and a dedicated coaching staff, our defense went to another level. Hoskins has it. Hoskins fires a strike to Belly Falter. Line to right. Castellanos comes in and he makes the catch. What a catch by Nick Castellanos on the sinking line drive. Early on in the year, our bullpen was trying to find their rhythm. That one's hit well out to left field. Schwarber's going back, and this is a one-run game. If we could get that stabilized for the stretch drive, we were a much more dangerous team. Sir Anthony Dominguez was beginning to return to the dominance he had before his Tommy John surgery in 2020. Oh, the celebration tonight here at Citizens Bank Park. The Phillies come from behind. They win it four to three. And Jose Alvarado was just getting plain scary. Here's the pitch. Yeah. Yes, he got him. Wow. He just struck out the last three hitters. After early season struggles, Jose was sent down to Lehigh Valley. Instead of moping, he got his game together and was lights out after his return. Swing and a miss. He struck out the side. One cutter after another. I'm 
I'm sure glad I don't have to face him anymore. The bullpen wound up being one of our strengths down the stretch. That's a solid ninth inning for Connor Brogdon. And give Rob Thompson credit. After he took over in June, he was able to get saves from nine different pitchers. Pretty impressive. The catch is made and the ball game is over. And they take one right out of the mouths of the Braves. On August 25th, another bump in the road. We had to shut down Zach Wheeler with forearm tendonitis. We hoped to have him back in late September. Aaron Nola went out that night and gave us all a big lift. And a spinner right back to the mound. This should do it. Aaron Nola flips underhand. It's a five-hit shutout for Aaron Nola as the Phillies win it four to nothing. He strikes out 11. And the Phillies sweep out the Cincinnati Reds. The next day was the long-awaited return of Bryce Harper. And it's going to bring Bryce up with the bases loaded. Who wrote this script? Hold on the ground. Base it into right field. Schwarber will score. Here comes Hoskins. He'll score. Bryce Harper is back, and he's driven in two to give the Bills the lead. The Calvary had arrived. Back to the oh, off man. the foot of Brad Hand, picked up by Stott, throws to first in time. And they're now 16 games over the 500 mark. Whatever it takes. The new guys were contributing as well. To the middle, sliding play Sosa to his feet again. That might be even <laughs> a little better. This dude's put on a clinic. Swing and a miss, he got him. Seven strong innings for Syndergaard. And a line drive out to right center field. That's going to clear both runners. And Marsh can run. He's going to wind up getting to third on this one. He is flying out to third. It's going to be a two-run triple. This guy can fly. He also stabilized their center field. One good thing about this year was how we dominated the lower teams in our division. Toward the ball. It hit the top of the ball. It's a home run for Sosa. Now. No player likes it when they walk a batter to get to you. That night, Gene Segura took it personal. And a line drive base hit into right field. Garcia gets to it. Here comes Harper. The throw to the plate is not in time. Gene Segura is just one in the bottom of the ninth. The next night, Edmundo Sosa put on a show. De La Cruz going back toward the wall. It is gone. It carried right on out of the yard. There he goes again. Pitch is swung out of miss. Throw to second base is high. They're going to say that Rojas got in the way. It doesn't matter. Sosa tagged him out anyway. A topper over the mound. Sosa's got it. Steps on the bag. And the Phillies have won the first two games of this series. Even Cy Young Award winner Sandy Alcantara couldn't keep Nick Maton in the yard. Maton off the auxiliary scoreboard. He's just in his third home run of the year. Oh, he hits one high in the air to right. Vanessa is going back to the track at the wall. It's gone. And Alec Bohm has put the Phillies on top. Got it. And David Robertson with a return to the mound strikes out the side. One, two, three go the Nats and the Phillies sweep the three game series. But just when you think you're okay. Ball game over. And the Braves sweep the Phillies here in Atlanta. Okay, the last homestand of the regular season. And that ball is drilled. Deep to right, off the Toyota side, a three-run home run. His first career 40 home run season. We still had a two-and-a-half game lead for the final wild card spot, but just had lost five in a row. September 21st. Extra innings with the Blue Jays. And a line drive caught by Segura. Dives for the bag in time. And the inning is over just like that. Time to find a new hero. Swing and a high shot. Up the middle. The game is over. Phillies win it. As the Phillies desperate for a win, desperate for a hero, find it in Matt Fairley. Matt came up big and gave us all a little chip and Dale routine to cap it off. Next came the Braves. Time to keep the foot on the gas. 
It's hit sharply. Diving bomb. He's got it. Gets up, sets his feet, throw across. He's low, but it's dug out by Hoskins. Ranger had electric stuff as he went for his 10th win. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Fastball got him. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. The save and the Phillies get a one to nothing win over the Atlanta Braves. The next night, the big fella did his thing. And a high fly ball to deep left field. Towering home run, Reese Hoskins. Two run shot. Wow. And Aaron Nola was dialed in. Swung on and missed another strikeout, number seven for Nola. Call strike three on the outside corner. That's unhittable. The magic number is down to single digits. Before Sunday's game, I was asked to give a message to the fans. It's been a really crazy year so far, right? But uh, this is a huge family, all of us together. We're in here for one common goal. So keep us going through the end. Stay with us, and we'll see where this takes us. Thank you. Then John Middleton followed up on FanDivision with a message of his own. I hope to see you here in October and don't forget to bring your rally towels. Game on. We had to finish the regular season with a 10-game road trip. It was just another challenge in our quest for the postseason. It started out badly. And the Cubs have swept out the Phillies in an ultra-important series here in the month of September. Our greatest glory is not in never falling. But in rising every time we fall, we give our own every time we fall. Our lead was down to a half game. I'm sure everybody at home was a little nervous. Trust me, we knew that we could get the job done. This was the most resilient team I've ever been a part of. Whenever we would fall, we'd rise again. With the remnants of Hurricane Ian still swirling, we headed to the nation's capital for a four-game set. We wouldn't be denied. It is gone! And a great start for the Bills as Reese Hoskins goes the opposite way. His 30th home run of the year. Pitch outside, throw to second base. It's a seed, and he is out at second base. How do they keep trying? I don't know. How do they do that? JT is a beast. He can do it all. He becomes the second catcher in Major League Baseball history to have 20 home runs and 20 stolen bases in a year. On the mound, Bailey Falter got it done. It's six shutout innings for Bailey Falter. 84 pitches here this afternoon. Back toward the middle on one hop flag down by Bryson Stott. He sets and fires, and the ball game is over. The Phillies' magic number is down to five. They win it five to one as Sir Anthony Dominguez works out of a bases loaded jab. The next night, the kids put on a show. That ball hit well out to left center field. Cesar's going back. He got into that one. It's gone. That one's deep down the right field line. Fair foul. It's fair. It's gone. It is a fair ball home run. And back to back. Ball the marsh. I couldn't let them have all the fun. And it's gone. Up the hill. It's his second home run of the night. He has 44. On the last game of the series, we not only had to battle the Nats, but Mother Nature as well. It was important to get an official game in. One, we obviously needed the win. And two, we needed a strong outing from Zach Wheeler to set him up to open the playoffs in five days. We got both. It's a two-run double for Bryce and Stott. The Phillies lead it 3 nothing. How about the daycare coming through again? Pitches it sharply through the vacated hole on the left side, and this is going to score all three. It's a three-run single. The Phillies have busted it open. And Zach slammed the door. And a call, strike three. Five scoreless for Zach Wheeler. On the Houston. Okay, the math was simple. One more win, and we erase a long drought of no postseason baseball in Philly. It was only fitting that the man on the mound was our longest tenured player, a guy who lived through all the bad times and was now ready to take us to the next level. 
Opening statement. First pitch of the night. The Phillies hope it's a special night. He's hit in the air to deep left field. Mancini's going back. It is gone! Kyle Schwarber the opposite way is giving the Phils a 1-0 lead right out of the gates. Then Aaron Nola came out firing. It was like he was telling us, one run is all I need. He was awesome. Six and two-thirds perfect innings. Okay, I felt like we needed an exclamation point. for Kyle Schwarber. He's homer for a second time tonight. And then a beautiful case of baseball karma, Zach Eflin got the chance for the first save of his career. The 3-2 pitch. Swing and a fly ball. Shallow center field. Coming on is Marsh. Still coming on. Makes the catch. The ball game is over. The drought is over after 11 seasons. The Philadelphia Phillies are going back to the postseason. And they celebrate behind the mound. And this is a long time coming. They were under 500 when Rob Thompson took over. He's won 65 games. As the skipper of the fighting Phils, they asked for Red October for the last several years, and guess what? They have stormed into Red October. After Wednesday, we got th 13 more wins, and we're world champions. Yeah, okay? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Congratulations. Enjoy this. You, you earned it. Okay? Okay. Let's start the party. Sweet, I came up with these guys and been through some hard years, a lot of, a lot of lost years, and uh, every year we're getting better. And uh, just to, to make it, we're so thankful to be here. Um, this is where we want to be. We've been, like I said, this has been a long time to make it. Everybody's worked their ass off this year to make this possible. This is what it's all about. So, number one, from what I saw from him, this year. I'm sorry, but I have to interrupt you for one second. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. Believe in yourselves. Believe in each other. And play fearlessly. Get heat. Oh, wait, wait. In the new wild card format, we had to play a division winner in a best of three at their ballpark. It was going to be a challenge, but at this point, we were ready for anything. In game one, Zach Wheeler was dominant but we were held scoreless for eight innings. Then, in the ninth, with bases loaded, we decided to play a little small ball. Hit him. Boom, clapping his hands. He's headed to first. He's driven in a run. Swing at a ground ball, right side. It's under the club, about minutes into right. The game is tied. Here comes Castellanos. He'll score, and the Phillies lead it in the ninth. Swing at a ground ball. Diving, Goldschmidt's got it. Coming home, the throw, it's late. Sosa with a head first slide. He has scored. Swing at a ground ball, left side. Arenado has it go under his glove. Segura coming around third. The throw is not in time. He kicks and the pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And Zach Eflin nails down the win in game one as the Phillies wait until the ninth to explode. Whatever it takes. Game two. Time for Bryce to shine. Corey swings and hits one high and deep right field. Forget about it. Bryce Harper has put the Phillies on the board. His first playoff home run as a Philly. And it's 1-0 here in the second. Meanwhile, Noah was dealing. Swing and a miss. He got him. And Sir Anthony got us through the eighth. Swing and yes. a miss. He struck him out. He gets Goldschmidt and Arenado back to back. With runners on the corners in the ninth, Zach Eflin did it again. Sosa racing over foul ground. He's under it. He's got it. And the game is over. And the Phillies jubilant pile out of the dugout as they celebrate a win here in St. Louis. They hang on to the ninth and it's a 2-0 shutout over the Cardinals. And they will advance to the division series to take on the Atlanta Braves. One more conference. Back in the clubhouse, we were dancing on our own. October 11, Atlanta. We hadn't been back to Philly in 16 days. Road Warriors. 
Ranger Suarez got his first taste of the postseason. Swing and a miss. He got him. And Ranger with as much emotion as we have ever seen from the lefty. Time for another guy to step up. And Nick Castellanos <laughs> with his third hit of the game. He's driven in two more, and the Phillies lead it 6-1. to one. The Braves made a run at us in the ninth. But was it enough? Swung on, line towards right field. Coming on, Castellanos still coming. He dives, and he got it! Oh. Nick Castellanos with a full-out dive has made the catch in right field for the second out. Winning the first game of a playoff series is huge. The Braves took game two, and now, finally, it was time to go home. From Citizens Bank Park, today it's game three of the National League Division Series. Let's go, Phillies! Yeah! We take care of business tonight. We got the Braves, and we're going to be sending them back to Atlanta. Try it! Let's go! Let's go, Bill! And a ravenous red towel waving crowd. They have longed for Red October, and now the city has its shot. What we experienced was the true definition of home field advantage. This place is on fire. This is what it should feel like in October. Struck him out, down and away. And Aaron Nola strikes out the side. One, two, three, here in the second. Next came a signature moment in the history of this ballpark. Swung on, hit it, crushed! as well pile on. Hit high and deep, right field, and that one <laughs> is headed out! Bryce Harper with a two-run home run over the out-of-town scoreboard in right center. Strike three called, he got it looking. The Phillies are one win away from heading to the league championship series after they beat up on the Braves. The crowd tonight was incredible. I mean, absolutely insane, electric. Nothing that I could ever dream about. I mean, it was, well, it was, I mean, chills again, because that was unbelievably cool. I hope it's like that for the next two weeks. We knew the crowd was going to be a factor, a huge factor. We'd heard about it, and it blew expectations. As you were rounding the bases, coming off, crossing the plate, looked like you and Bryce had a moment there. What did Bryce say to you? What did I say? We ain't losing. Yeah, I did say that. He said, we ain't losing. He's been saying it all week. That's just the belief I think that he has in us, right? Like that's the belief that we have in each other. You wanna do it again? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Yeah, let's do it again. Swung on, hit high in the air, right field deep. Acuna back, track, wall, gone! Brandon Marsh with a three-run home run to right field. Okay, here comes the fun part. Towards the angle wall to the track, and the wall reaches out. It comes off the wall. It rolls away. JT flying around second. He's heading for third. Dusty Watson is going to wave him home. Here's the relay to the plate. There'll be no throw. JT slides. It's an inside the park home run. Swing at a high fly. Deep left field. Towards the corner. Rosario looking, and it is gone. It's 8-3, Phillies. What an exclamation on this one. The 3-2. Swing and a miss. He got him. And the ball game and the series are over. And the Phillies are headed to the National League Championship Series as they have taken out the world champs. An 8-3 win. The Phillies celebrate on the mound. And this crowd can celebrate as the Phillies season will continue. They have toppled the Cardinals and the heavily favored Braves and the Phillies in front of this near euphoric crowd. Get the party started. All of you are so talented. You guys are playing so unselfishly. And I'm so proud of you. How many more wins, JT? We got eight more, Tom! Yeah! LCS. Once again, our strategy was to at least get one game on the road. Game one was a classic pitcher's duel. Zach Wheeler versus Hugh Darvish. 
both guys were nasty. But even the best pitchers in the game have their hands full with Bryce Harper. Swung on, hit high in the air, left field. This one's got a chance. Profar going back to the track, at the wall. He jumps, he's out of room, it's gone! And Bryce Harper has homered to left field. And the Phillies have a one to nothing lead. Two innings later. Swung on, hit, wow! Deep to right field, titanic shot into the second deck! Wow, the Phillies take a 2-0 lead. That was as long a home run as you're going to see here at Petco Park. I got to admit, that felt pretty good. And Jose Alvarado closed the door. Swing yes. and a miss. He got him. And the Phillies have taken game one of the NLCS. In game two, San Diego tied the series, and it was back to Philly. The Padres had last been there in May and the ballpark had been a little more quiet. There was no way they were ready for what they were about to go through. It was an incredible scene for the division series when they took down the Braves. They'll have the red towels waving again. Welcome to the jungle. Here we go again. Let's start the frenzy. Swung on, hit in the air, right center field, pretty deep, going back and looking up is Soro, it's gone! Lead off, home run for Kyle Schwarber! Great start! On this Friday night is Schwarber with his second homer of this postseason and of this series. With the game tied at one in the fourth. Swung on, poke towards center, it'll be a base hit. It falls in and both runs are gonna score and Gene Segura has come through. Not only did Gene do it with his bat. Swing and a ground ball right side, Segura dives, gloves it, hops up, throws to first, he got him again. Wow. What a play, Gene Segura diving in the hole. And Sir Anthony nailed it down. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He yes. struck him out. Dominguez does the job. A six-out save to preserve a 4-2 win here in game three of the National League Championship Series. The next night, the Padres came out with four quick runs in the first. No problem. Swung on. Melted left field deep. Hoskins answers with a two-run home run off Clevenger here in the bottom of the first. Phillies cut the lead in half. It's 4-2. Punch, counter punch. What a start to this game. 4-3 in the blink of an eye. The Phillies have come all the way back, and they've not waited to do so. And the Padres, just like that, are back in front. It's 6-4 San Diego. A slugfest. We can handle that. Hit deep yes. left center field. Has he yes. done it again? Has yes. he done it again? He did it! Reese Hoskins with a two-run game tying homer here in the bottom of the fifth inning. And it's 6-6. JT is coming home. Harper has given the Phillies the lead on Harper's opposite field double here in the bottom of the fifth. Rio Muto turns on a ball. Kiss it goodbye. Ten runs for the Phillies. Swing and a ground ball right side. Segura in shallow right. He's up with it. His throw to first. In time. And the Phillies are one win away from going to the World Series. By now, I think the Padres were a little shell-shocked. Hey, it's tough to play in the jungle, man. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Philly, you know, has been off the chain these postseason games. So, you know, we look forward to continue to have that advantage. One win away. From Citizens Bank Park, today it's Game 5 of the National League Championship Series as the Phillies find themselves just one win away from a spot in the World Series. Man, when Reese is on a roll. Hit deep left field, and the Phillies have the lead! Reese Hoskins comes up huge again! His fifth homer of the playoffs, his fourth of the League Championship Series. Zach Wheeler was on cruise control. One ball and two strikes. Wheeler delivers. Breaking ball. Ooh. Strike three. He got him with a slider. He shot him with the pitch. Then the baseball gods started to pull some tricks. The weather began to get nasty. Nobody wanted to go back to San Diego for game six. But weird stuff began to happen. And the Padres took the lead. The 2-2 pitch way inside goes to the backstop. And the run is coming home. He'll score on a third wild pitch of the inning by Sir Anthony Dominguez. 
you hate to lose a game because of a slippery ball. There was no joy in Mudville, literally. But the mighty Bryce was coming to bat. You don't think when Bryce Harper signed that mega deal to come here, he had visions of having a huge hit to send his team to the World Series? He's one win, and in this case, one swing, perhaps, from the World Series. Swing and a drive, left field. It's deep, it's good, yes! and it is for yes! fun. Yes! It is Bedlam at the bank as Bryce Harper has put the Phillies on top. Are you kidding me? His 10th <laughs> career home run in the postseason. And he may never hit a bigger one. Wow. Four to three Phillies in the bottom of the eighth inning. Crazy. Crazy. Worth every penny of that contract just for that. Unbelieving believable. And the unlikely closer, Ranger Suarez, finished the job. Popped up. Shallow right. Castiano yes. has it. And the Phillies have the National League Championship. They have beaten the Padres 4-3, and they celebrate on their home turf as the Phillies are the 2022 NL champs. <laughs> Celebration behind the mound as the Phillies come back with two in the bottom of the eighth, and they have knocked out the Padres four games to one. And they're gonna play for the world title. We've got four more wins, and we wanna bring that other trophy back to Philadelphia for the fans and our organization. I've been here for five years, and I've been told if you get in, the people will show up. Well, we got in, and everybody showed up. Thank you. They're the best. They're unbelievable. Amazing. This atmosphere, second to none. Fantastic. And this fan base, are you kidding me? Let's go. We got four more. We're going to bring this home, boys. Let's go. I just want to congratulate everybody, all these players, all the staff, this entire organization. I'm being national champion. This is what you play for. This is what you dream of as a kid. No shortage of goosebumps. Kyle Tucker was putting a dent in our win game one strategy. Three run home run for Kyle Tucker, his second homer of the night. And it's five nothing Houston. But in typical fashion, we scratched our way back. And the Phillies are on the board as Nick Castellanos hooks one into left. Rip down the left field line. That is going to be in there for a hit. It'll go to the corner. But it's a two-run double for Alec Baum. And the Phillies respond with three of their own. Third ball into the air. Left center field. On the run is Alvarez. It's deep. Back toward the wall. Alvarez won't get it. It's off the bullpen door. Marshall score. Here comes Schwarber. He'll score. It's a two-run double for JT. Yes. And the Phillies will tie this game up at five. Okay. We tie the game. Tomper starts managing the game very aggressively. We used five relievers, and they all held the Astros down. We knew we were getting that sixth run. How about this play? We're going to fly ball right field coming in towards the line. Castellanos still coming. He slides. He caught yes. it again. Shades of Atlanta as Nick Castellanos lays out, and he keeps the Astros off the board here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Then the hero stepped up. A back on a Tucker to the track at the wall. He jumps. It's gone. Yeah. Yeah. T with an opposite field home run just out of the reach of a leaping Kyle Tucker. And the Phillies take the lead here at the top of the 10th inning.
Then David Robertson turned on a gritty World Series save. 3-1 pitch. Breaking ball grounded to third. Sosa gloves it. Sets his feet. Fires across. Yes! And he got him. And the Phillies take game one on the road in Houston. Awesome game. In game two, the Astros put up another five spot. This time, we couldn't match it. It's a game of inches. November 1st, and the World Series came back to Philadelphia. Pretty cool. From Citizens Bank Park in South Philadelphia tonight, it is game three of the World Series. For your 2022 National League Champion, Philadelphia Phillies. As if things couldn't get any louder. It's the right field, and the Phillies are going to lead it. Yeah, they are. Bryce Harper has put the Phillies on top with a two-run home run over the out-of-town scoreboard. Blasted left field deep. Alvarez back. He turns. He looks. It's gone. It just clears. Leadoff homer here in the second for Alec Baum on a low laser just over the left field wall. Swung on, hit in the air, high and deep, right field. Is it a homer? They say yes. Brandon Marsh. I had to get in on this. Swung on, hit in the air, center field. Going back on his McCormick. Back toward the wall. It is good. On. Off the brick wall. A two-run center field home run for Kyle Schwarber. Swung on, hit in the air, deep to left field. It is gone. Back to back home. It was a night I'll remember forever. Like Bryce said, we ain't losing. There was no doubt in my mind that we put ourselves in a really good position. So what happened next? Throws on the run to first, it's in time, and it's a no-hitter. Here for the Astros in game four of the World Series. The next night, we were about to stage another come from behind win. McCormick going back to the track at the wall. He jumps against the out-of-town scoreboard. Has robbed JT Realmuto of extra bases. Oh. Again, a game of inches. Back to Houston. Well, got it hit deep toward right field. That's going to be gone. The Phillies will take the lead. Into right field, an absolute bullet by Kyle Schwarber. And the Astros have taken the lead here in game six by a score of three to one on a monumental home run by Jordan Alvarez. We had spent the last month fighting toe to toe with the best teams in baseball and came up just two wins short. Disappointing, sure, but we had nothing to hang our heads about. We had overcome so many obstacles and we believed in ourselves. So what about the future? We have a whole team of players baptized by fire, battle-tested, and ready to do it all again. The pieces are all in place. Young players who have proven they belong, an incredible core of all-star veterans, a manager who knows how to get the best from us, a front office and ownership who would do whatever it takes in the best home field advantage in baseball. I can't wait to do it all again. We rise. We rise. We rise. Up to the sky. We rise. The destination is not the mission. It's the journey that will make us grow The road to glory is light and stormy But it's one that we don't walk alone We give our own Every time we fall